Number 10. KTM 390 Adventure The 390 platforms from KTM have proven to be a very successful addition to the company's inventory. The Duke 390 was the platform's first bike, and it delivers a value for money. Novice-friendly package with mechanicals generally found on more costly motorcycles. KTM ultimately decided to release the 390 Adventure in response to customer demand. It's easy to mistake the 390 Adventure for a larger bike, as its stylings are based on those of its bigger siblings. The Adventure, like the other 390 models, comes with all the bells and whistles, including a skid plate, hand guards, crash bars, TFT instrument display, traction control, cornering ABS, and other factory off-road improvements. Number 9. Husqvarna Vitpolen 701 Husqvarna, a Swedish motorcycle manufacturer, stated in 2014 that the Neo Retro Spartpilen and Vitpolen 401 twins would be returning to the market after decades. The motorcycles were well received by the public, and Husqvarna went on to produce the 401 models, as well as the larger 701 models, the Vitpolen 701 being the most recent. The Vitpolen 701 is a Neo Retro flat tracker with a low profile headlight and a sleek rear end with integrated number plates. The the Vitpolen 701 is a bike unlike any other, having one of the most distinctive tank designs in recent memory. Number 8. Indian FTR 1200 With the combination of a great rider lineup and its FTR 750 factory race bike, Indian Motorcycles has utterly dominated its competition since its return to American flat track racing in 2017. To commemorate the FTR 750's success on the dirt oval, America's oldest motorcycle company chose to release a street-legal version of the multiple title-winning factory race bike. While Indian's inventory is primarily comprised of cruiser bikes, the FTR 1200 is a considerably sportier offering, including a full electronic suite with riding modes, as well as top-of-the-line suspension and brakes. Indian provides a variety of bolt on accessory packages for the FTR 1200, as well as a higher spec S version if the ordinary model isn't up to your standards. Number 7. Kawasaki ZH2 the first-generation Ninja H2 and H2 are were Kawasaki's Halo models, showcasing the company's supercharged engine. However, with the new ZH2, the Japanese company has applied its forced induction engine to a more affordably priced variant. The motorcycle, which is now part of Kawasaki's Naked Z series, has a supercharged 998 cubic centimeters engine that delivers 200 PS and 137 newton meters of peak power and torque. Despite the fact that the new ZH2 is less expensive than previous models. It nevertheless includes high-end amenities, such as a completely digital instrument console with smartphone connectivity, launch control, traction control, a slipper clutch, and numerous riding modes. Number 6. Ducati Street Fighter V4 the new Ducati Street Fighter V4 is essentially the Panigale V4 Superbike stripped down. It has the same 1,103 cubic centimeters V4 engine as the others, but it hasn't been detuned like the others. That indicates it has a peak output of well over 200 PS. The Street Fighter V4 comes with a package of electronic riding aids, superior mechanicals, and down performance is now matched by only a few bikes. Who offers the Street Fighter V4S with a lean suspension for a few thousand dollars more. Number 5. Ducati Monster The previous monster's characteristic tubular trellis structure has been replaced with a lighter, aluminium frame that stresses the engine. The new monster is driven by a 937 cubic centimeters engine that produces 111 Number 4. 2021 Zero SRS for more than a decade, Zero Motorcycles has been a market leader in the electric motorbike sector. But the SRS is the company's first fully fared model. The SRS gets a full front fairing, which improves highway efficiency, and is based on the SRF Naked. Unlike other sport bikes, the SRS has a pretty ergonomic and comfortable riding position, making it perfect for commuting in city traffic. The SRS's battery has a 200-mile range and a 5-year warranty. It also has an optional power tank that can be fully charged in just one hour. Number 3. Triumph Speed Triple 
The all-new Triumph Speed Triple is a pretty stunning piece of kit that has received its biggest modifications since 2005. The motorbike features a new 1,160 cubic centimeters triple engine with 180 PS of peak power, which is a 30 PS increase over the previous model. The Speed Triple also features an all-new chassis that is 10 kilograms lighter, as well as creature amenities like a TFT digital instrument panel and backlit switchgear, and Brembo brakes and Olean suspension on the RS variant, the new one, which has long been one of the greatest all-around super nakeds, appears to be among the fastest and best handling as well. Number 2. 2021 Suzuki Hayabusa Suzuki has finally introduced the new Hayabusa after what seems like an eternity. The Japanese company has given the motorcycle a comprehensive facelift for 2021, based on the Euro 5 emission standards. The new Hayabusa includes a lighter chassis, more aggressive design, upgraded brakes, a fully digital instrument dashboard, and sophisticated riding assist functions. The gentleman's agreement implies that top speed is voluntarily limited to 300 km per hour, so don't expect the new model to be any quicker quicker than the previous one. Given the newest upgrades, it should handle considerably better than previously. Number 1. 2021 Honda NC750X In today's motorcycle world, practicality in the genuine sense of the word is hard to come by. The market's specialization has separated the showroom floor by narrowing the focus of bikes to the point where adaptability has been eliminated. Honda's new NC750X is a bike to look forward to this year. Despite being a bit under the radar choice, it's no surprise that the NC750X has become one of Europe's best-selling bikes because it's well-built, easy to ride, stylish, and affordable. The motorcycle has been overhauled for 2021, with new styling, more power, less weight, and even more baggage room. With unique features like the semi-automatic transmission and built-in luggage compartment carried over from previous generations, the new NC750X should be an even better all-rounder 